Let's talk about candles. Why and how we can import them. Backtesting requires data. So if I start this backtest without importing data first, it should fail. The error is pretty clear. It's telling me no candle for Binance Spot sold USDT is present in my database. So let's start importing the needed candles. To do that, open the import candles page. Choose the exchange, the symbol, and the starting date. Notice that I entered the same starting date as my backtest was. The ending date is not required because it always assumes the current date. Notice that there is no option for the time frame either. That is because Jesse only records the one minute time frame data and generates the rest of the time frames from them. Let's start the importing process. This should take a while, so I'll skip the video. Let's run the backtest again. This time it fails again. That's because the starting date of the backtest is exactly the date that we use for importing candles, which means we forgot to consider the warm up candles. Warm up candles are the data that is loaded before starting the backtest sessions. Let's say in your strategy, you're using a moving average with a period of 50. Warm up candles allow you to have access to that value since the beginning of the backtest instead of just waiting 50 candles just so you can estimate the value of the moving average. By default, the warm up period value is set to 210. You can change it from within the settings page if you needed to. My backtest is using the 5 minute time frame. So 210 multiplied by 5 equals 1050 minutes, which is slightly shorter than a day. So if I import candles from just one day earlier, it should do it. This time it should go way faster because we only need candles for one day, so Jesse will skip the days that it already has. Now if I run the backtest again, it should work just fine. And the reason no trades were executed here is because the strategy I'm using is empty. However, an easier way to deal with warm-up candles is to simply import candles since a few years ago, so you don't have to worry about candles during development at all. In case your database is empty and you want to import candles as fast as possible, you can do that by opening multiple tabs. For instance, while this session is importing candles, I can open a new tab and import other candles. However, even though Jesse allows you to, it's best not to import simultaneously from the same exchange because you might hit the rate limit of the exchange and get banned for a while. Instead, you could import from another exchange. For example, in this case, instead of Binance Spot, I could import from Binance Perpetual Futures. I have to mention that importing candles is not required for live trading. In live trading, at the beginning of the live session, Jesse will automatically import the required candles for you. In the next video, we're going to talk about how strategies work in Jesse.